Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. One of the great promises that we have in Scripture is that of the rapture of the church, that before the great tribulation takes place, before the seven-year peace treaty is signed in uh, with Israel, it, that there will be a a rapture of the church. The word rapture means snatching away, that those who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that we will be raptured out of this before the time of the great tribulation. And then there's some people who disagree with me regarding that. Some believe it. We're going to go halfway through the tribulation period, or we're going to go all the way through the tribulation period. I don't believe that. I believe that God has not appointed us to wrath, right? And so that I think that we're, we're going to be removed from this uh, terrible, terrible time the Bible describes as the Great Tribulation. We're looking at Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. He that testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Christ's promise here is he's coming again. Surely. You can believe it. You can count on it. I guarantee it. He says, I'm coming back. And uh, we see the promises throughout Scripture and saying that he's coming again. The great promise is that you and I don't have to worry about what's going to, what's happening in this world. God already has it under control. And that his promises is that you and I need to keep looking up. We need to keep on serving. We need to keep on being faithful to our spouses, faithful uh, to our churches, faithful to share Christ with the world, faithful because he's coming again. He's coming again. Praise God. And that this is not all there is for you and I. As we said before, and I'll say it again, uh, the great, great quote is, is that this is the only heaven that some people will ever enjoy but this is the only hell that christians will ever have to endure uh this is not our home we're just pilgrims passing through uh, we've our problem is we've gotten too connected we've got too entwined with uh with uh uh with with this world's systems and this world's politics and this world's um applause and so forth that's not the way we're supposed to be we need to keep our eye on the prize. We're supposed to be like that sprinter who's running towards the finish line and, and going to finish this race as, as swiftly as we're capable of doing. God has called you, I believe, at, to live at the most exciting time in the history of mankind. And that is the, the time right before the rapture of the church. I think there's going to be a great soul harvest in our lifetime. And I hope that one of those people that gets saved before the rapture of the church is your child, is your family member, is your neighbor, is your uh, work friend or whoever else that you've been praying for um, for all this time. You know, now is the time for you and I to begin inviting them to church and invite them to um, to um, to to know Christ as their Savior, uh, to be a witness to them. Now is the time because the time is running out. Jesus promised, he said, surely I come, what's the next word? Quickly, quickly. What's God's timetable? I'm not exactly sure. I am sure of this, that there's nothing, there's no prophecy that has to be fulfilled before the rapture of the church can take place, which means that the, the rapture of the church is imminent. It can happen at any time. You and I as believers, we need to keep looking up we need to be continue to be faithful. We need to reach as many people, and those people we've been praying for. We're concerned about our child. We're concerned about our neighbors. We're concerned about this person and that person. Well, you know that idea of just praying for them has to go has to uh, has to uh, be put into action. We need to reach out to them and bring them to your Bible preaching church, where they can hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And make a life change. Amen? Well, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.